This is a very short tutorial on how to improve your FPS when playing mod packs. Now, what I'm about to say is actually from Direwolf, who made a video on this way, way back when. And it's a very simple tutorial on how to improve your FPS. What this does is that if you have a lot of stuff in one area that is lagging your entire computer, this is what fixes it. And I think Direwolf has a better explanation on how this works within his video, so go check it out. It still stands to reason today. Things that are active in the area, let's say there's a lot of activity in one area. This activity causes a heap of lag because it's trying to like register all of the actions at, at a very slow speed, I guess. Um, I guess that's the only real way that I can explain it in a sensible manner. Um, but you know, it's your computer is trying to process everything that's happening in one corner of the room. What you have to do to fix this is go to mod options, go to Minecraft, forge, config, client settings, forced uh, threaded chunk rendering right here. So what this does is that it enables Force to queue all chunk updates to the chunk update thread. Um, so now this will update chunks a lot faster. So that, for example, that chunk that has a lot of stuff that's going, it's just going to update it. This may increase FPS significantly, but may also cause weird rendering lag. That is because your computer might be too old for this Force to thread chunk rendering. And that's why it's not active all the time. That's why it's actually false usually. So, you know, and this is not recommended for computers without a significant number of cores available. So the way to check cores is go to task manager and go to performance. I'm going to show you guys a screenshot of what I see from my cores. What I see on the screen is the CPU tab and very small text. There's a very small text on the bottom that says cores eight. I have eight cores. So... That is my core counts. So yeah, that's basically it. Really, that should fix a lot of the mod issues. And this is mostly for modded issues. This is only for modded issues, really. But, you know, in general, this only fixes the modded stuff. So, in general, I hope this helps you. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and goodbye.